Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today I'm going to give a little bit of advice on eyepieces. And chances are if you've bought your shiny new Skywatcher telescope, there's a, a good chance it will have possibly a couple of eyepieces, a 25mm like this one. This is actually, actually a Kepler Optics 25mm, but just here as an example. And they usually come with a 10mm modified achromatic and a two times Barlow lens which in this case is the single lens element budget one or you with some of the higher end ones you do get the multi coated deluxe version which uh, uh, is a uh, double lens so to work out the magnification well as an example we'll talk about the Skywatch 130 the one with a 900 millimeter focal length and so you notice on here, the centre one, it's got 10 millimetres on it. So you take that 900 millimetres focal length of your telescope, or whichever one you've got, and you divide it by 10, and that gives 90 magnification. And if you've got maybe the 130p, which has a 650 millimetre focal length, that will give a 65 magnification in, instead of 90. So back onto the longer tube version of the telescope then with that one eyepiece it gives 90 magnification use it with the Barlow lens you get 180 magnification you think wow that that's the best that's what I'll use to start with but that's a mistake a number of people make and before I come on to that what you'll find is with the 25 millimeter you only get 36 magnification but Remember that when it comes to astronomy, unless you're looking at the moon and the planets and some double stars, you know the, the moon and the planets are not out every night, and a star, unless it's a double star, no matter whether it's 36 magnification or 180 magnification with these two together, it's still going to be a point of light, but with this one, straight away you'll notice it is a brighter, sharper view, um, better contrast, and because it's a, a wider field of view, it will be very much easier to find things first. So whenever you're using telescope for the first time, just put these to one side for one second. Find what you, you're looking for. Want, obviously once you've lined up your finder scope and uh, got everything set up properly, you'll find it much easier to focus using the low magnification eyepiece or the one with the highest number on and if possible before, before you go out if you can view anything terrestrial objects such as uh, a distant chimney top or whatever focus on that first and then when you put your telescope outside you'll just have some minor adjustments to do and because believe me when the telescope is straight out of the box the chances are the focuser will be right in against the tube and you look through it at the night sky you won't see anything because everything will be really out of focus so focus on a long distance terrestrial object first using a low magnification eyepiece and then point it at the night sky and then once you enjoy the lovely views sharp and bright views you get with the low power eyepiece if you then want to turn to the moon or for example the star you're looking at you, you actually know that it's a double star but you need a bit more magnification then take this eyepiece out go on to your 10 millimeter you may have to refocus slightly and uh, you should have more magnification then to bring out more detail in the moon or the planets and double stars and only really use the high power magnification if seeing conditions are really really good and by that I mean when you look um, at stars when, when they're really low down they, they seem to wobble about in the atmosphere and the higher magnification will actually increase that distortion so always always start off with a low power eyepiece I, I myself I, I own a, a 12 inch Dobsonian and it's very rare I, I go above 100 magnification there's no need so I hope that helps and um, just helps the, some people that maybe think that straight out of the box go straight into high magnification but y when you're using these two together you get a much much narrower field of view than using this eyepiece so always centre the object in this eyepiece first 
and then move on to the 10 millimeter again get it nicely in the center if you do want to go into the barlow and then move up so keep going up in in steps one one two three rather than go straight in at the deep end as the saying goes so i hope that helps thank you very much for watching and please check out the link in the description below